we will do. I'm Chandra. I'm from uh, Eagle Toastmasters. Toastmasters bug beat me about two and a half years back. I'm currently president of the club. And I'm going to talk about specialty speeches. And the title of my, my speech is Look into the Mirror. And it's about eight to ten minutes. Yeah. First of all, I want to thank everyone uh, for organizing this uh, meeting. Let's start, yeah. Look into the mirror. I'm not like talking about the physical mirror where you look and say, yes, I've grown old. Yes, I've got this white hair now. Yes, I'm gaining weight. It's not about that mirror I'm talking about. Those are all trivial things. What I'm talking about is the mirror which each one of you reflect upon. The personality, the character, the core beliefs we believe in. When I look at myself, that is to you, think back about 15 years back, what I used to believe in, what my personality was, my character was, or core beliefs were, and with time, as I got married with children, those have changed completely different. What I used to stand for there, now it's on this side of the room. And what are the things that actually change them? Let me go through them. First, one, one of my very, very good friends one day asked me, what does the world run on? Of course, I said, it's gas. But of course, that's not the answer. And he said, no. Does anyone know what the world runs on? Anyone want to take a crack at it? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> it's love. Think about it. Everything we do, it's the love. We love our friends. We love our family. We love our children. We love the work sometimes, not often. We love our career. It's always about the love. Love is like an engine. Love is like an oil to the planet engine. Without love, nothing is there. That sets our personality, character, everything. Then comes indebtedness. It's paying back. Our gratitude to that. Right? Oftentimes, we do things not because we love it. Because we want to show our appreciation. We go an extra mile for our bosses. Not because we agree with him. Because he stood for us, like Heather said. Right? They believe in us and we want to pay back. And now if I see today, at Toastmasters you show, you see both of them in a lot. We are here in this cold weather because we love Toastmasters. And many people stood up organizing this one for us to give this opportunity to talk in this public space, improve our skills, is because we want to pay back. Right? That also sets our personality, character, our beliefs. Then comes our failures. It's failures. One wise man said, I would rather fail a few times than succeed the first time. By success, you, that's only one way that teaches you. But failure lets you go back and assess it. Why is it? You get to know everything. I have several stories with Toastmasters itself, my failures. But I do not want to bore with Toastmasters here. But let me tell you my personal story. Fifteen years back when I came here for my graduate studies, I was fresh. I was 20s, early 20s. Like any student, instead of focusing on my studies, I was of course focusing on my life partner. Yes, I have my own share of failures there. Then enters Mariala, a friend from Italy. She came to New York for six months as an exchange student. Oh, she stole my heart. I thought she's the perfect person. She thinks like me, behaves like me, she feels for people. Yes, she is the one. I found my partner. But of course, I didn't have the guts to tell her. <laughs> like a chicken. Huh. So one day, we were walking through the woods, late in the evening, we were taking that stroll, and suddenly she utters the golden three words I was waiting to listen. I love you, Chandra. That's it. My heart was somewhere there. Yes! And of course, I was pumping. Yes, joy, yes! 
then I did not hear the next three words she said. The next three words she said is, you are like my little brother. Oh. Yes, thank you. My balloon just <laughs> popped. <laughs> but then, we are the best of the friends now. I was the best man for her marriage. I went to Italy, to the Rome, and I signed for her marriage. That taught me a lot of things. And then finally comes the experiences. Nothing, nothing can beat experience. Nothing ever. You can give like 100 points how to get over your fear to come here and talk. But I'm telling you, my heart was pounding like 100 uh, times per minute as other was speak, uh, finishing her speech. Yes, but how to come here, experience that one. Again, I'll tell you another story, not Toastmasters. Yes, after that Mariala bump I got, I had another failures, but finally called my parents. Mom, you have to help me now. I got married to Padma. I did not even see her before marriage. Uh, yes, I know that. I did not see her before marriage. It's a gamble I took, and she is exactly opposite of me. If I'm on North Pole, she's South Pole. If I'm South Pole, she's North Pole. We are like yin and yang. And I always tell her, she's not here, but I tell her. She is sitting in this room. She would be the last person I would consider as my wife. Because exactly the reasons I told. But after eight years of her marriage, I, I can tell you, that is the best, best ever decision I have taken in my life. Again, it's experience. Sometimes, take the chance. You never know. It may pleasantly surprise you, sometimes. Sometimes, not always, yes. <laughs> so, like I always tell, if, if you have a beaker, and you fill it with a lot of pebbles in it, and if you put water on top, does the water reach to the bottom? Yes? Right? It always reaches the bottom. Think that our lives are like water. We are like water. And there are several pebbles in front of you. They are like obstacles. But always find whatever the tiniest space you can find and walk through it. Find your space. Find your things. And all these things sets your personality, character and core beliefs. And if you think the first, f the letters of each one, love, it's L. Indebtedness is I, failures F, and experiences is E. It's life itself. Take it. Take some risks, but enjoy it as it lasts. As we know, it is not forever. Thank you.